Hello everybody, today we're going to be learning how to create a one variable data table on Microsoft Excel. So to find the data table option, you're going to go to the data tab, the what if analysis tool, and in the drop down menu, data table is one of the options. So a couple notes before we get started today. I am not going to be going over to create a two variable data table in Excel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Microsoft Excel version 2013. So you notice that I've shaded the inputs in green and the outputs in yellow. This is just to help differentiate between the two of them and it will get more useful when we get to the data table itself. So I've listed the inputs in cells A3 through A5 with their corresponding values listed in, B, in cells B3 through B5. I'm using these values to find my output, which is gross margin at $9,000 in cell B8. You'll notice that in cell B8, my formula does not contain any hard-coded numbers. It only references the cells themselves. So it's vital that when you create your formula, you do not hard-code numbers. You only reference the cells with the values in them, or else the table will not work. Now that you have your output, you can go ahead and choose which variable you're going to change. I've chosen cost of goods sold as my changing input at 30%. So 30% is going to be changing. Your range of values can be as large as you want it to be. You can have as many values as you want in this data table. The only piece of advice I give you is that whenever you create your range of values, you always include your original input value. So in my case, that would be 30%. So when I'm creating my range, I'm going to start at 15%. I'm going to go up by 5% increment increments, which means 30% will still be one of the options. Once you've created your data range. I'm going to go ahead and highlight these cells and then highlight them and change them to green so that way I know that these are input cells. And then in the cells corresponding to your input values in the column just right beside them, I'm actually going to shade these cells yellow because this is where my outputs are going to go when Excel creates the data table. Now the last thing I need to do is reference my formula itself. I'm going to reference the formula in the cell right above where my output values are going to go. So that's going to be C11 on my example. So I'm just going to reference the original formula cell itself. So that's going to be cell B8. So I've got my input values in one column. And in the other column, I've got my formula cell listed right above where my output values are going to go. Now at this point, I'm actually going to put borders on all of these cells just to make it look a little bit more cleaner, make it look more like a table. This is optional. You do not have to do this. At this point, you can go ahead and ref you can go ahead and highlight all those cells. We're going to go to data, go to what if analysis, and we're actually going to go ahead and run the data table. So we click on data table, and it gives us two options: either row input cell or column input cell. This depends on how you arranged your uh, range of values in the beginning. So my input values are arranged in a column format. So I'm actually going to pick on column input cell. So we're going to pick on column input cell. We're going to reference our original input value. So mine's going to be 30% of cost of goods sold at cell B4. So I'm referencing cell B4. Go click back, click OK. And now you'll notice that Excel has automatically filled in your output values in your data table. At this point, you can feel free to mess around with the numbers as much as you want. So in my case, I'm going to highlight all the output values and change it so the format matches the original output value format makes it once again look a little bit more cleaner I can once again go and check to make sure that the uh, data from the uh, data table does indeed match the original data set so 30% cost goods sold still matches with 9,000 gross margin can also change any of my input uh, values so if I want to say say change fixed cost from 5,000 to 4,000 you'll notice that Excel automatically uh, adds the changes into your data table. This will only work if you reference the cells and did not hard code the numbers when you created your formula. So once again, it's vital that you do reference the cells. So that's how you create a one variable data table in Excel. I hope you found this useful and thanks again for listening.